Revelation 1161 From the 5th of November 1939 Done Joy Tragedy He who created heaven and earth is unsurpassable in his wisdom. In unchanged regularity he directs all his creations, and in wise foresight of the will of mankind, he considered the time to come when his power perfection will express itself in a visible way, only recognizable by his works of creation. Without certain time indication before, it will happen that the earth will be afflicted by enormous eruptions, and the Lord visibly directs his creatures devoted to him at that time into the sphere of influence of this event. He will set a limit, that those who make his, will their own will be spared, he will prove the greatness of his love to all of them by protecting them suffering from evil, he will repeatedly make them understand that they are under his care and can feel safe if they only trust him. And countless will manifestly head for their downfall if they do not follow the inner voice that will clearly warn them to leave one place and turn to another. Those who follow the inner voice, will likewise be spared, but those who want to hear the call of the world will follow it, and the warnings of the Lord are in vain. The disaster will reach them and shake their conscience with all force still in the last hour man will hear the voice but not pay attention to it. He will follow the enticements of the world. He will go down in a rapture of joy and experience a horrific end. He has lost all connection with God, and if he is in the greatest danger and even then does not find the way to him, he is lost for eternity. The enjoyment of life will be longed for and spiritual death will be the consequence. Whoever avoids the world, will escape disaster, and whoever takes refuge in God, will be visibly protected, in greatest distress and danger. The Lord lets the spiritual beings rule effectively, and these command the elements of nature, where a child faithfully calls to the Father. This child will find help in greatest distress and will be miraculously saved because all good spiritual beings help those who remember the Father and surrender to Him. But there are truly not many. Mankind remains in greatest resistance, it does not want to bow before the highest power, it blasphemes until the end, when it recognizes its powerlessness. And the spirit of the anti-Christians will be clearly recognizable. They will mock those who call upon the Lord God and thus place themselves in the power of him to whom they had already fallen before. And the world will experience a spectacle of tremendous tragedy, and only the believing person will recognize that the Lord wants to make himself clearly noticeable and brings salvation to those who implore his grace. And all the world will take part in this event, and it will be left to every man to recognize the work of a higher power in it or not. For the working of the eternal divinity will always be expressed in such a way that it does not limit the freedom of the human will, because no event is to force man to believe in God, but faith is to be made easily acceptable to him through the love of God, and that is why the Lord prepares this event which is unimaginable in its extent and effects. Amen.